Recently, I was looking for an infinite paper type of app for doing a giant storyboard for a new book I'm working on. So after looking up many options, looking up different reviews, um, I determined that Infinite Pro was the app I was going to go with. The other, other options, um, Infinite Pro is $4.99 US in the App Store. Um, there's another option that's $9.99. Um, the price was one of the reasons why I went with Infinite Pro. But also for what I needed it for, um, Infinite Pro looked like it would suit my needs. So besides having Infinite Paper up, down, left, right, in all directions, this truly is Infinite Paper. You can see as I'm zooming out on this picture here. And it keeps going and it's disappeared at this point. Besides doing Infinite Paper on all sides, you can also to the type of drawing where you zoom in and constantly zoom in to another picture like this. So it works really good for that if you're into doing that type of um, video or drawing. There is no actual record tool in the app. You have to do a screen recording if you're gonna record the zooming or the zooming out. But um, as far as I could tell, none of the apps like this actually have a recording um, feature in it. Now, the drawing tools in Infinite Pro are very basic. It's almost like what you get in the Notepad app on your iPad. It's basically just a basic drawing tool there are colors down below. You tap, double tap one of the colors, you get a swatches, you get different styles to pick your color, and you can have three colors um, available at one time. There are three sizes of the pen, but basically it's just three presets that go along the slider here. This is about the biggest you can get it to draw, and there's three different sizes you can preset. You can import photos from the Photos app. You can add text with the button right here. There is a selection tool um, which will let you move around parts of your drawing. In the very bottom, there's undo and redo. The eraser is kind of funky. Um, it has a eraser where you just tap the lines that you've drawn or parts that you've drawn and they will disappear. Um, but also underneath there's an eraser where you kind of draw over what you want to erase and then let go and it'll disappear. So a little different type of eraser um, in the app. I wish I just had a normal just eraser type of tool. Um, there's also a little four square right here. You have the access to your gallery Underneath that is bookmarks. Bookmarks are really cool because you can bookmark if you're doing like the zoom type of picture. You can bookmark the different stages and easily get back to them just by tapping it and it goes right back to it. So you can, if you get lost, if you zoom in too far, zoom out too far, you can easily get back to it. Um, there's also layers. Layers are really different if you're used to using layers in like Photoshop or Procreate. Um, the top layer is your background and then the layers go underneath of that. Um, I'm still trying to figure layers out. You really don't need layers that much um, if you're doing like an infinite drawing or something like that. Um, but layers are there if you need them. And as I said, underneath on the bottom there, there's undo and redo. Overall, the app does work great for infinite drawings, whether you're zooming in or going left, right, up, and down. Um, the drawing tools I wish were better, but from what I could tell from screenshots and reviews of other apps in the App Store, most of the apps like this don't have heavy duty drawing tools like you would find in Procreate. Um, I wish there was something like that, but so far I haven't found it. Now, that said, I haven't tried any other infinite drawing app. Um, like this or in the style. 
Um, I usually use Procreate. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know that. Um, I could just make a giant canvas on Procreate, but it really wouldn't be infinite. If I ran out of room, I'd have to keep making it bigger and bigger. And you can't really do the zooming in and zooming out type of drawing in um, an app like Procreate. And as you can see, when you do zoom in, the picture stays super sharp, super crisp. You're not losing any, losing any quality. And I've taken a vid this video um, of this zooming in, putting it in, into um, LumaFusion. You can put it into another video editor and cut out the little pauses and breaks when you zoom in so it's a lot smoother of a video and kind of crop out the tools and stuff like that. But overall, if you need an Infinite Paper app, um, I highly suggest giving Infinite Pro a try. It is on the cheaper side, $4.99. Um, versus prices of other apps that are out there. Like I said, I haven't tried them, so I can't say how it is versus drawing tools or features. Um, but for my needs, Infinite Pro does the trick. One of the other reasons I decided to go with Infinite Pro over other options in the App Store was this is constantly updating. You can see from the version history here, one week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, almost weekly, they are releasing an update, it seems like, or multiple times in a month. So to me, when I'm purchasing an app, I like to see that it's taken care of, regularly updated with features or, or um, bug fixes. And as you can see from the App Store listing, this does work on the iPad. Also works on the iPhone, which is another bonus feature. Um, other apps I looked at only work on the iPad and it will work on your Mac if you have an M1 chip in your Mac. So cross-platform all the way, unlike other apps. So if you want it on your iPhone, your Mac, you can use it there also. Overall, if I was gonna rate this out of 10, I'd give it an eight or a seven and a half. Um, it's great for what it is in an infinite drawing app. I wish the drawing tools were a little better, but it's not advertised as a drawing app like Procreate or um, Affinity Photo or Ibis Paint. It is an infinite paper app. So it's more for drawing, simple drawings, not detailed, incredible paintings like you might do in Procreate. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you next time with some more Procreate tips, reviews, or just quick drawings and doodles.